Hi, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guides to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. Now, here we are in version 14 of Movie Studio, where Magix has introduced a very cool new feature, multicam editing. This is part one of a two-part series we're going to do on multicam editing. Multicam editing takes video from up to four different sources that were shot simultaneously, say video of a wedding, video of a sporting event, video of some live event, and it allows you to place them all on the timeline and then easily and intuitively intercut between them. A very cool feature. I want to show you how to make that work right now. The first thing I want to do is uh, take a look at my four different videos here. Now don't worry about the thumbnails you're seeing here. Some are black in the front, some seem to show the same thing. Don't worry about that right now. These are four different camera angles of a wedding. I also have a master audio that was recorded with a microphone, real high quality audio. So because I'm going to be using my audio from this separate source rather than from one of the videos, rather than just drag the video down like this and add it to the timeline audio and video together, go to control Z to undo that. I'm going to drag the video down with a right click and when I drag it down I have the option of adding only the video. We'll take camera angle number two same thing, I'm going to drag it to right above camera angle number one because there's not yet uh, a video track created, but as I drag it in there, it automatically creates a video track. Same thing with camera angle three, camera angle four, and these are my four different camera angles of the wedding on my timeline. I also have my master audio, and there I'll add that underneath. Now the first thing I need to do is synchronize these events. I need to figure out some way to create a synchronization point. Now if I was a professional, I may use a clapper. You've seen those at the beginning of movies. Steve's movie, take one, like that. Because that gives you both a video clue, a visual clue, and an audio clue. So you've got the pop that you can see on the audio track, as well as the video movement of the clapper closing, and you can create a synchronization with that. On my video, I didn't have any of those options, but I looked through the videos and I found one little point in the video that gives me a synchronization point. So I'm just gonna open up uh, video number four here in my trimmer. So right click and select open in trimmer. And you can see I put a little flag here. I'm gonna zoom in on this and you know zooming in on a timeline is pretty simple here in the trimmer, just as, is, just as you would zoom in on a timeline on your main timeline, you just use the up arrow, down arrow to zoom out. There's the up arrow. I'm going to zoom in very, very close. You may not be able to see it from this angle. Uh, you'll see it in one of the other angles, but the speaker who stepped up to the podium tapped the microphone just before he began speaking. You can see on the audio track underneath the clip that point registered. And if I just scrub to that exact point, there he is tapping the microphone. Now I zoomed in very, very tight using that up arrow to the exact spot that that thump occurs. And there I selected the option to add a marker to the timeline of this particular clip. Now you can do that by selecting insert marker right here, or you can simply press M. Either way, it creates a marker right on the little timeline and you can shift it a little if you want to get it to a very precise position where this sync point occurs. So that looks very good. Let me show you one more angle so you can see that it uh, is more obvious in other angles. We'll open up this clip from camera one in the trimmer. And here we see much more of a close up. Uh, you can see there he is tapping the microphone and there I've marked the point. Now I've located that same point here on the audio track. Now, once I've created all of those markers, I can line up my clips here on the timeline. So I'm gonna zoom in, there it is. You can see this little brown marker here. That is the marker on each one of the clips and it shows up on each event also. And I've lined them all up. And that little tap is gonna serve as my sync point so that all these videos are in sync. Now, once these videos are all synced up, I can create a master track that is going to take those four different media clips, these four different video clips, and turn them into four different takes of a single event. Let me show you what that means. So I'm just gonna select the track headers for all four of those video clips. And then I'm going to the tools menu and go down to multi-camera, enable multi-camera editing. And I also want to, from the same menu, select create multi-camera track. 
And when I select that, two things happen. One, if you take a look down there at the timeline, you see all of the tracks, all four of those video tracks have been combined into one. If I were to right click on these and select take, you see that all four camera angles are still there. However, they are as takes. I also have my audio and the audio is synced. So everything is synced up and now we can begin the process of editing, which is what we're going to do in part two. Hope you join me for part two of multi-camera editing with Vegas Movie Studio. I'm Steve Grisetti.